Hi there, it's Sine again, and today's unscripted video is about sexy bookmarks. Um, listen, you have to provide uh, your visitors a way to share your content with the social networks where they are, not just where you are. Uh, the more ways you provide for them to share your content, the more they will. Uh, if you don't provide any way for them to share the content, well, it shouldn't be a surprise to you when they don't. So today we're going to take a look at an animated social bookmarking widget that you can add that will post or put your um, the ability to share your content at the top or bottom of each post that you put out there. It's animated, it's fun, it will engage your uh, readers, and it will provide them a way for them to share your content with their friends in their social networks. So if you're ready to take a look at this short excerpt, and, and please note that this is a part of a larger video I've done, so we kind of join this in progress, and, and there's stuff that goes on after it. You'll need to check videos.bysene.com for the rest of this video. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at sexy bookmarks. Now, if you would, look down below. I have the means for you to share this content with your friends in your social networks. And I'd really appreciate it if you do that. Rate the video, uh, share it with your friends, or comment on it. I look forward to your feedback. Next in the list of plugins that I'd like to show you is something called Sexy Bookmarks. Now remember I mentioned to you that if uh, you provide a way for people to share your content with others, they will. The easier that method is, uh, the more often they will share your content. I use a plugin called Sexy Bookmarks. Now, again, I mentioned that I'd already uploaded all of these, but it's fairly easy to get this plugin. Simply go to Plugins, Add New, and type in sexy bookmarks, all one word, and search. It'll come back with several options. This top one with version 3.2 point whatever, uh, it'll be the top one that says sexy bookmarks. This is the one you should install. Now, as you can tell, it says here that I've already installed it, so I don't need to install it again. But if this were your first time, you could just click here to install it. Now I'm going to pop back over and activate it since I haven't done that yet. Uh, just a couple of little short settings to set up on sexy bookmarks and I'll show you exactly how easy this is. I'm just going to pop over to the plugins op options page. Now before I show you all the options, I'm going to go to one of the interior pages and show you where sexy bookmarks will appear, which will be right below this video. And see, here's uh, I've just turned it on, so here comes all of it. Now, this is a little crazy. Um, that's a, a bit much. I like to pull the most popular ones in and just give it one line so that I get this animation without inundating them, without overloading them. Now, if you don't know where your visitors are coming from or how they'll want to share it, you can certainly uh, leave them all on. Uh, I like to turn them all off and then select the most popular and then make a couple of little adjustments. I turn off RSS because I'm going to provide another way. I turn on LinkedIn, I turn on Facebook, I turn off Digo. Um, I also, I like, uh, this is uh, Technorati, there are a couple of new ones, uh, SpringPad, oh here we go. Um, I turn this one and this one off again so that I can have the ones that I want which are uh, Delicious, Technorati, StumbleUpon, Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, all, all the biggies, Twitter for example. So once I've done this, I've just turned on the ones I want, um, I'll go through and make the rest of the setting changes here. Uh, basically if your blog is about uh, politics, then you would change this to politics. Uh, mine's about entertainment and my default media is uh, text. My primary content category is gaming and the default tags that I'm gonna most often use. Okay, so that pretty much, uh, those are my default tags. Uh, this has to do with what kind of functionality you, do you want to add to this plugin. Do you want to add no follow to the links? I recommend yes. Do you want to open links in new window? Again, I recommend yes. Um, do you want to override the styles? I leave this unchecked. Only check this if you're having problems with the way this uh, plugin is interacting on your blog. Um, do you want to animate and expand multi-line bookmarks? Say yes. Uh, do you want to center it? Again, if you're having problems um, or another plugin has loaded jQuery, you can uncheck this to use whatever else was, was loaded. 
Um, if you'd like to use a background image, you can check this and then choose which one will appear. Now remember, I've got right now sharing is sexy. So if I change this to share the wealth and save it, then this background image will change to share the wealth. Uh, so let's finish this up. I want it below the content. I want it on posts and pages. I do want to show it in the RSS feed and I want to hide this menu from mobile browsers simply because you know it'll it'll render a little oddly. Okay now if I save the changes and we go refresh that page we should see um, a much slimmer uh, less obtrusive uh, sexy bookmarks area and scroll down and now we have our new background image and only the icons that we want and they don't wrap because we've only chosen the most popular um, bookmarking methods. Now for example here's how this works if somebody comes along and watches your video or reads your content and they want to share it on their Facebook profile they simply click here it will ask them to log in and if they're already logged in it'll simply uh, provide them a way for, to type a new note and publish it right there on their Facebook profile. So if I say check this out and I'm gonna go delete this when we're done uh, I can choose between you know multiple um, thumbnails based on what's on the page uh, and click share and it's now shared this on my Facebook profile. Uh, ditto if I wanted to share this on Twitter um, or Technorati or stumble upon. I mean, again, it's going to, this plugin will look at what URL you're on, what service you're using, and then use the appropriate method to let them share your content. Uh, I do recommend you put this under your content so that when they've finished consuming it, you're asking them basically to take action. Share the wealth or sharing is sexy, something like that. Now, I, I do tend to put sharing is sexy. Uh, because frankly they see the word sexy and, and it does something psychologically to people. Now if I'm sharing a lot of articles I will put share the knowledge simply because I want them to you know if, if, if it's about reference material and they're hooked on that they're gonna want to share that so I hope uh, I hope you've enjoyed sexy bookmarks it is an easy way as you can tell to let other people share your content on some of the major uh, content sharing areas now the more they share the more other people can find your content and that's always a good thing so I hope that's helped let's move on to the next plugin this excerpt was provided as a courtesy to my YouTube subscribers. To see the rest of the video, please visit its home page by clicking the link in the description.